Hi everyone, hope you are doing all right. So today we will be talking about um, the urea affirmation related to the aspect of liver and how it works by science time IGCSE course. So before going to this video, I will be asking you to subscribe my channel. Don't forget to like and drop a comment, share this video as much as possible. Therefore, I will be much stronger compared to our last videos. So let's do this. At first, let's talk about the excretory paradox. At first, carbon dioxide, which they are being exerted by the respiratory system that I talked about this concept before in our last videos. So don't forget to check it out. And these uh, carbon dioxide molecules, they are not being formed they are being exerted by the respiratory system but they are not being formed inside the lungs they are being formed by the cells inside our body as they are gaining energy by delivering i'm sorry by gaining oxygen and they are going to convert this oxygen as they are using it into co2 or let's say carbon dioxide and then giving it to different veins for transferring it to the heart and then by the pulmonary artery giving it to the lungs for being exerted so don't forget to check it out and now the excess water which they are being exerted in urine formation by the kidney and also from the skin so there are two different places which the excess water it is going to be completely exerted and removed from the body and the third Excretory product that we will be talking about it in the next slides in this video called urea being exerted in the urine formation by kidney but being formed by the liver and also small amounts of it will be exerted from the skin which can be ignored even. The last excretory product known as bile pigments being exerted by the elementary canal which is fully responsible for the brownish color the brown color of the feces as we go to the toilets so in general let's say exertion is a removal from organism of the waste products of metabolism or or let's say in simpler words the waste products of all chemical reactions which are going to take place inside the body the toxic materials and even the substances in excess of requirements that means they are useful uh, but until an optimum level, until a certain point. And now the main points, what's urea? What is it? Urea is a useless, or in other words, is a toxic substance which is formed by the liver and being exerted by the kidney, which we will be talking about the kidney, the urine formation in our next video. This urea is coming from the protein molecules which were found inside the food we ate. As you can see in the picture, you can see how is urea. And now, how urea is formed. The process is called deamination, but even though it can be known as nitrogenous waste. At first, as I said before, the protein molecules in food are taken in the elementary kernel, as I talked about also related to this concept, in our last videos. These protein molecules are going to be broken down into amino acids or let's say in other words into the main units of protein molecules known as amino acid is the base form of these types of molecules. The third step like this amino acid it is going to enter the blood and then taken to the liver in the hepatic portal vein. The amino acids which are needed are again released in the circulation and then so indeed they will be transferred to different cells and different organs and different tissues so they can um, be used for repair and growth. But the ones that are not needed will be deaminated as I said before the process of deamination into amino acid and carbohydrate. As you know, this carbohydrate it is going to be stored as glycogen inside the liver. So it is, it's not going to play any role in urea formation. 
But indeed, the ammonia will be converted into urea with also traces small amounts of ammonia and uric acid. But in this case, we are talking about urea. That urea will be released inside the blood. And don't forget this. It's really important that when this urea it is going to be formed by the liver, it is not going to be exerted by the liver. It is only going to be released inside the blood again. And the thing which is going to happen to this urea, we will be talking about it in our last, I'm sorry, in our next video. So don't forget to turn on the bell so you will realize whenever I uploaded that video. And the place which this urea is going to be exerted is known as kidney, which is kidney's function. So as you can see in the picture, the nitrogenous waste gives urea, uric acid, and ammonia. But this ammonia and uric acid, they are not that much important since only small amounts of these two substances are going to be formed by this process of deamination. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And if you haven't turned on the bell yet, please do it. And also be ready for the second part of this video. And see you in our next video.